Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, because you guys want to talk about this, we're going to talk about what's going on with the blogger AL Anthony Lofties, with the blogger Marcella Kiki and Mill. Because, again, you guys, all of this is at this point still very much confusing out of control, and very much annoying. I'm team nobody. I'm team reporting this because y'all want to fucking know about it. My honest thoughts about this entire thing is it's all so weird, and this is ultimately why I don't really like fucking with people. So when Mel said on my live that she wasn't really talking to Kiki because she don't like people giving her or making her feel unsure about their relationship... I totally understand it because now here we are. It's still a lot of stuff that's going on. AL released some videos of Kiki. And in my opinion, despite what others may say, granted, y'all don't like AL. Totally understand. The things that he's done in the aftermath of everything, in my opinion, distasteful. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this situation, both of these people, in my opinion, Kiki and AL, are missing certain parts of the story. But ultimately, some things are making sense on his end. Some things are making sense on Kiki's end. Regardless, none of it makes sense. <laughs> ultimately, what I gather what AL is trying to explain or what he was trying to explain was that the only reason he felt some type of way about Mill was because the conversations that he was having with Kiki about Mill. What I gather from Kiki is... Is she's never had any negative conversations about Mill to AL. And baby, I'm just gonna be real and I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. AL is a blogger. A blogger. Kiki, yo mama took information that you shared with her to a blogger. That is how this all got started. And even though you said in your live video two days ago that you and him weren't friends, you guys were communicating as if you were friends. And if you felt comfortable to ask him for $100, in my opinion, you're operating as if you were friends with him. What I would consider not being a friend is how basically Mel played the situation and kept conversation short, smooth, easy. You got really personal to the point to where he knew your personal number and even spoke with your mother. So like I said, we don't like AL. Okay, I get it. But one thing that I took from the conversations that he exposed with Kiki, and it's not much, but at the end of the day, Kiki is going hard as if she's male friend, right? Mel's my friend. Mel's my friend. No, I really like Mel. She supported me. She's never done anything to me. I was rooting for her when people were, you know, t targeting her. However, what I noticed was when he was open to discussing Mel in a negative way as her friend, what did you say in that conversation to speak up for her other than, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. And then at the end of the day, despite what others may say, she even co-signed some of the things that he was saying about her bringing up conversations pertaining to the paternity of her children. She co-signed that in the conversation. What she said was, and see, I felt funny about it, and I'm, and I'm obviously paraphrasing, but she basically said in lamest terms that she felt funny about it, and even her mother said something about it, and she had a conversation with her mother. Ultimately, what I gather from this is you were having the conversations. Whether you outright said, yeah, I didn't like Mel. When he said, I don't like Mel, you never said, listen, it's just a show. 
and you might not like Mel, but at the end of the day, she's my girl. I rock with her. She supported me. She's given me this opportunity. I don't never want to hear nobody talk about her because at the end of the day, the type of person that I am is very clear, ho. You ain't going to talk about anybody that I'm cool with, I'm associated with, anybody that done put me up on game, anybody that, anybody that has, you're not going to openly discuss somebody that I consider a friend. Nobody is is going to feel comfortable talking about my friend to me. And that ultimately is what I took from the conversation. Let's call a spade a spade. Kiki should have outright said, don't talk about her in that fashion. I get it. Your perception probably has changed, but that's my girl. I ride with her hard. And that my friends is why I believe that her and her mom did in fact not speak the best of male in every conversation because I look at it as though and y'all know this on my platform your silence is loud if you allowed him to talk negatively about somebody that you considered your friend you co-signed what it is that he was saying period dot com let's talk more about this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload so kiki and al's back and forth has now gotten another blogger in a mix and that blogger name is marcella or miss marcella i can remember miss marcella because she used to be on another panel a really major blogger panel with schoolboy and a lot of other people and that's ultimately like I used to stay on that channel and I don't know I don't really know what happened to it but I know it was like a big falling out or something of the sort. Kiki went live two days ago and she was basically threatening Miss Marcella and AL and honestly I don't care about any of that because I can't tell nobody how to deal with they beef because y'all already know. But I will post that video in a separate video after I post this video so you guys can see it in totality. I'm not on nobody's side because like I said, all of this is quite confusing. I'm a millimeter. I'm on male side, obviously, but she's not in this. And I know, hey, I'm the youngest around and don't nobody like taking my advice or listening to me because y'all be with all of the seniority issues, so... A lot of times what I say gets thrown under the radar, but I truly feel like people can learn from others. And I say that to say all of this could have been resolved and it didn't have to get this far. I want to start with AL because in my opinion, it looks very distasteful to now link up with an entire group of people that don't like or dislike the very person that you were trying to align yourself with. It's giving the real definition of when your haters link up. And the truth is, we all got to do some growing up. So AL said that he was trying to explain all of this behind the scenes, but nobody really wanted to hear what was going on. And I don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. Maybe it was your approach. Maybe it was the tone that you said prior to regardless I look at it like if they didn't want to hear the information that don't necessarily mean the other side i.e Kiki is right in the things that she's saying I feel like if AL would have simply just apologized and said that he probably got too emotionally drawn into it because the things that Kiki was telling him and he felt like he they were good friends but he meant no harm then this would have really went differently but I'm telling you man pride 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 I feel like he let his pride get in the midst of all of this because like I said to now be on your platform linking up with a whole bunch of people calling me a little buddy and all of this extra stuff when you in fact wanted to be her friend is just not a good look and it's odd because truthfully in my opinion i don't necessarily understand what the beef is or what his issue is for not liking mill because he also said in the conversation that he had with kiki that he understood where betty was coming from when it came to mill and I'm trying to understand what part would you, or were you referring to? Is it the fact that Betty said that she don't like the way male do things? Do you agree with that? Or was he trying to say that he agreed with Betty not liking male for not speaking up for Stormy when the whole internet was going at it with Stormy for being friends with Coleslaw? Regardless, when he said that, 
Kiki, if you were Mel's friend, then you would have spoke up and you would have said it, something, but you said, mm-hmm, and basically agreed. So we're gonna get off the AL portion of this, but basically how I line all of that up, and I can be wrong, but this is just how I perceive it. This is my interpretation and perception of the situation. AL wanted to be in Mel's circle. He wanted to align himself with Mel. Mel rejected AL. In the midst of Mel rejecting AL, Kiki Mama brought him some information and in my opinion he used that as a green light to try to expose Mel. The reason why he felt like he could expose Mel is because of the things that Kiki was telling him. Now the reason why I say that is because the video that I recently did about Kiki lying about in that live, she literally said in that live and she said in multiple lives that the only person that stood up for her was Stormy. And if you're going back to tell the conversation to your blogger friend and you, if you're saying that on live to us, I'm sure you said that to him. The only person that stood up for me was Stormy while everybody else had basically wanted to vote me out. I would to interpret that as you saying Mel wanted to vote you out and didn't stand up for you. Now on the back end, she was saying that Mel spoke up for her as much as she could. But again, in multiple lives, multiple videos, you will hear her say the only person that stood up for her was Stormy. So which one is it that Mel stand up for you as much as she could, but couldn't do as much, even though she a producer, she still very much play her role as a cast member and Stormy as well? Or was it only Stormy, the only person that stood up for you? This is why so many people not really rocking with Kiki because it's all very much confusing. So again, AL felt comfortable enough to feel like there was some type of issue based on the things that she said to him about her. And if it wasn't, when he started to talk about male, to her then she would have spoken up in that conversation that we heard that he posted and said don't talk about my friend like that she really has helped me so much you just got it misunderstood or confused period dot com so she felt comfortable enough to share information with al she also felt comfortable enough to share information with her mom about mail her mom went and shared information about Mel and everything to AL. Because in my opinion, Kiki set the stage for these conversations to happen. I'll give you an even better example. We all know, and I don't like to throw Queen Sheba in this, but Queen Sheba is a melometer. When Queen Sheba did her interview with Walkie Talkie, Mel's baby mama, he knew he couldn't say anything negative about Mel on her platform, period. And if he would have, not saying that she would have checked him in an aggressive way, but she wouldn't have allowed it period. Why? Because she's a mellow meter. Queen Sheba don't even know the lady like that. So Kiki, if you're her friend, why are you allowing people to talk about her? That's my only point when it comes to that in the AL situation. So again, just to clear things up, I know y'all don't like AL and you don't have to like him, but let's be open and honest. Neither one of these people are Mel's friend, in my opinion, or else these conversations wouldn't have happened. Another thing, Kiki said that her mom has always liked Mel and they've always been supportive and all of this other nonsense. But in the same breath, in the conversation that she had with AL, L, you clearly hear her say that when Mel asked the conversation or asked her to bring up, I guess, the conversation or the topic of the paternity of her children, she really was taken back by that and she wouldn't had a conversation with her mom. And her mom told her that she didn't really like that. And again, I'm paraphrasing, go back and listen to it. So in my opinion, that tells me your mom been feeling some type of way about Mel, which is why you was able to bring that to her and she was not able to be understanding enough and then ran that information from Houston to a blogger. So that's another thing. Apparently, they are saying that, and I don't know how true this is, but apparently they're saying that Mel told Kiki that she should bring up a conversation or talk about the paternity of her children 
on camera. Y'all just follow me, okay? Because Kiki is a big ass contradiction. In my opinion, Mel is being smart and strategic and because you have already allowed your cousins to expose you, it is best for you to get ahead of your stories and your scandals the way that Mel did. A lot of people had taken that to be a negative thing or they took that personally, i.e. Kiki and her mom. But in my opinion, you're on reality television and I feel like she was giving you real candid advice. The way Mel has been able to be so successful is because she jumped in front of all of her scandals. Everything we know about Mel and her scandal, she revealed to us prior to anybody exposing her of anything. And I feel like that was maybe the place that she was coming from. I'm not gonna say that that's the place that she was coming from, but ultimately, Mel being a chess player and not a checkers player, I can ultimately see that being her framework. The same thing when it came to the drug test. Get ahead of your story. Kiki, you keep straddling the fence and you keep allowing your cousins to blast you and it always end up making you look stupid as hell you always come on live and come on social media and tell us oh i'm gonna tell y'all when i'm ready to tell y'all or i was going to tell y'all but you always allow other people to beat you to the punch so now we're gonna see on the reunion how leticia is now exposing you for i guess cheating on your husband etc etc so she did the live like i said two days ago and in that live, she said that, you know, at some point she was going to expose that. She was going to bring that up herself on the show and they didn't allow her to do that. And it's like, that is a scandal that you were trying to get ahead of. Why isn't it that you weren't trying to get ahead of the scandal when it came to the paternity of your baby? And another thing, when it came to what AL said, as far as trying to compare a grown ass woman talking about another woman's child and the paternity of her child and holding up a picture of another woman's child and then holding up a picture of a man and trying to compare them is completely fucking different from a woman going to another woman and telling her she should talk about the paternity of her children to get ahead of her story. Granted, I'm not saying Mel had the conversation with Kiki to tell her to get ahead of her story. Story, but Mel having a conversation with Kiki and telling her that she should talk about the paternity of her children versus another old ass broad on live holding up a child's photo next to another man in comparison is not the fucking same. And I'm tired of people trying to turn apples into oranges but a lot of times people intentionally misinterpret certain things so they can feel justified in their points and the things that they are trying to say so i'm just saying this is another reason why i got my eyes open to kiki because here you are on live two days ago saying hey i was going to get ahead of that story that tisha exposed why wouldn't you also try to get ahead of this story and also when he was talking about the paternity thing on the phone with you you never stopped him and said anything pertaining to that conversation you allowed him to continue to say the negative things about your so-called friend that brought you on the show and that put you on so again I know a lot of y'all are fooled but I'm not fooled neither one of these people like Mel that's the blogger or Kiki and I'm not gonna say Kiki don't like Mel but all I'm trying to say is she was trying to be strategic and at the end of the day it shocked shot her in the foot. You trying to be strategic with somebody that don't like the person that gave you a platform is absolutely ridiculous and insane. And this is another one of those things that I was saying in my last video. Kiki fucks herself up every single time trying to be strategic when at the end of the day, right is right, wrong is wrong and align yourself appropriately so you can get elevated and get ahead in life. And that's not to say to align yourself with male so you can get ahead. That's align yourself with right is right wrong is wrong and again like I said in my last conversation if she would have just told her cousin what it was from out the gate instead of trying to be strategic oh well I'm rooting for Mel but not opening your damn mouth and speaking up and I know this is me I guess 
going off topic low key but that is how you know that when she said on live she was rooting for Mill, that didn't mean she was sticking up for Mill. because here you are another example she's on the phone with somebody that's talking shit about Mill, and the only thing that she's saying is mm-hmm and y'all can say okay well that's not her talking shit about Mill, but that's also not her speaking up for her either and if y'all the type of bitches that let people talk shit about your so-called friends and don't speak up and say nothing or check them then i would never want to align myself with y'all ever like at the reunion she knew that marceau or she felt in her heart that marceau made a joke about her doing drugs but sat on the reunion stage and said i I, and she didn't say I want to believe that he said that she said I believe that he wouldn't laugh or make a joke about my situation basically in my opinion throwing mail under the bus just to turn around on live and say that you knew in your heart what your answer was but you didn't say that because you was trying to get on the same page with him again shot yourself in the foot you knew right was right wrong was wrong but instead of you speaking out against it you trying to what be strategic and align yourself with your cousin again uh, see here's another instance you're trying to align yourself with a blogger you go and sharing information and it literally completely blew up in your face and now he exposing you every which way when ultimately whether you talk ish about male or not and i'll keep repeating it you sat on the phone and you allowed somebody else to speak ill of her and you didn't speak up and that is my only argument Granted, she probably didn't say anything like, oh, yeah, I don't like Mel. I don't rock with her. But you also didn't speak up, period. And when he was expressing his thoughts and his opinions or whatnot, you also co-signed and aligned yourself with the things that he was saying about the paternity, et cetera, et cetera. These are conversations. Did you have with that with Mel? Again, so I understand why Mill says that she's just not really, you know, there with Kiki and she's not there for anybody that makes her question where their loyalty is. I totally understand it. But that's my rant. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think. I obviously didn't talk about the whole thing. I just talked about what I felt like was most important, what stood out to me. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be fair. Oh, my God.